Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another podcast. My name is Denise, this is Dear Designs and this is the places you can find me. Um, I am on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Ravelry, I have my own website which is Dear um, Dash, the little line thing, uh, Designs, so dear-designs.co.uk where I sell hand dyed yarn, stitch markers and badges. So, all the links where you can find me are down below, uh, so go and check them out if you need to find me anywhere, if you have any questions or anything. We do have a Ravelry group for this podcast, um, I'm not really that active in there at the moment, um, I'm trying just to do one thing at a time and that was my um, website and it, <clears throat> oh pardon me, and then um, it was trying to sort of keep up with Instagram, but I will be going back into the Ravelry group and setting up some bits and pieces. Um, there is a few knit-alongs going on. Um, they are, one of them's a year-long knit-along, which is the um, year of my sock 2021. Um, I did it last year and I'm doing it again this year. That's where you knit a sock for every month of the year. Um, so yeah, go and check out the Ravelry group. I am going to go in there after this and try and sort it out. <laughs> uh, but I have no finished objects for you today. I have some whips and I have some acquisitions. So yes, let's get on with the whips. Um, so last week I was working on a pair of socks and I didn't have enough yarn for the second sock. So this is the first sock which I'm really happy about. Um, it is the Rose City Roller Sock um, and I've done the heel flap and gusset from the Crazy Sock Lady uh, channel. I followed her heel um, which is just a slip stitch heel and it's worked out really nice. So this is the first sock and then the second sock I can't remember how far I got um, last time but I have done the heel and I am now on the foot so I just need to knit down the foot to my toe and basically finish. <laughs> so um, like I said I thought I would have had enough of this yarn but I haven't so I've done the second sock in this yarn which is my own hand dyed yarn in the night train colourway. Um, I have knitted socks in this yarn before um, and it's just a little sort of off not off cut but um left over that I had and I thought well it's blue it's yellow this has got blue in it not the same blue really but um I thought they could be um deliberately odd socks um so yeah that's that um the yarn that I'm used the yarn that I used here was yarn that I dyed as well um and the toe and the little because I've done orange orange yellow on the little cuff as well for five rounds that is drops fable in yellow which is this um and I think I will have enough for the toe and then this will probably all be gone but I looked on wall warehouse and their drops fable is two pound thirty a ball um which, to be honest, I don't think was too bad, especially like if you're using it as contrast because you're not really using that much and you get quite a lot of contrast out of it. So, yeah, I'm doing that magic loop. Really, really enjoyed doing the heel flap and gusset on that. Um, I have my sock ruler here and I have marked where my foot is and what I am thinking is... Um, marking on there everybody else's feet as well so that's where I need to knit to to get to the toe um so yeah I'm gonna try and mark my sisters I might even try and mark the boys feet as well and see how that goes because um Casey and the boys came round last week and Ollie had a pair of knitted socks on, well, knitted tube socks that I made. They fitted him perfectly. So I made them for Mikey. He wore them for a little while, but now they fit Ollie perfectly. And I thought tube socks, because they last longer. Um, and I just thinking, maybe for Mikey, it's time to put heels in his socks. I'm not sure. He has quite wide feet, that's the thing. Um, 
but yeah so <laughs> anyway that's um socks number one whip number one whip number two is another pair of socks it's all about the socks and i've just dropped the bag on the floor never mind um i said that uh oh let me just get this sorry sorry for the top of my head um i said was it last week the week before that i decided to knit with these yarns but i wouldn't have had enough to make a full pair of socks um which I don't think I would have done because um, I'm 40 rows in at the moment for the leg. So I'm doing them two at a time because I want them to finish at the same time. And there is more on one ball than the other. So as soon as I've finished one of them, I'm just going to finish both of them on that colour, if that makes sense. Um, but I was hoping to get at least 50 rows out of the leg um maybe 60 i'm not sure i'm just sort of knitting as much as i feel like it um and it's my normal vanilla i'm gonna do a fish lips kiss heel because i'm not sure on how to do a heel flap and gusset two at a time um and i just want to do a fish lips kiss heel <laughs> to make it easier uh, so this is the first yarn which is a drops fable yarn this is a drops fable yarn as well um and i've got two of these obviously but I knew I wouldn't have had enough, so I looked to see if there was anything that would match, and I found this, which is my own hand dyed yarn that I used for socks, September socks, I think, and I thought that goes with that quite well. Um, so then I can just sort of stripe this in instead in the toes or like later on in the foot and the toes as soon as as soon as I've run out of all of this, and then there's no wastage. Um, there might be some of this left over because obviously there's quite a bit of this but then i was thinking i could just use it as like um the tops of cuffs and things um so yeah i am this far which is 40 rows and i've done um 10 rows yeah 10 rows of two by two rib on the cuff so i'm really really happy with this and i'm just gonna carry on knitting as I go along and see what happens. Um, I don't really know how they're gonna look because <laughs> I haven't got anything in mind. I'm just gonna knit until the yarn runs out, basically. Um, in a way, I should have done toe up because then I could have used all of the yarn, um, but I didn't. <laughs> um, right, my cowl, my, my take on the paint pan cowl. So this is what we're looking like. <laughs> um, it is so lovely. Um, it is getting quite long. So this is how long we've got. Here is where I was last week with this marker. So I've worked on this quite a bit. But to be honest, to do one block of colours doesn't really take that long. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this so far. I was at this red one here, right at the bottom. So I've done... All of this this week um, and I'm hoping it's not going to take that much longer um, because I've sort of been doing a good chunk of it every week um, I've got this much of the main color left which is sort of I don't know I haven't weighed it probably about half and I have got just over half of the colors in um, so I don't think I'm gonna have enough to completely um, do the sequence again so I'm not going to have enough to repeat it basically so what I'm thinking is to use up all that I have um, is to on one half of this cowl just stripe the yarns that I have left over so basically a little bit like the litmus cowl that I did do and just use the colours and stripe them in so then once it's on and it's double wrapped I'm gonna have one layer of this and then one layer of stripes and I think that would be quite nice actually so that is my plan um, I'm thinking this is taking up half of the gumball because when I started doing this I used the wrong needle I managed to get um, what was it I managed to get um, 
two was it two colours? I can't remember now what I did. I can't remember now, but I mean, I, I think there will be enough to do another block of these if I had enough of the main colour, which I don't think I will have. So <laughs> my plan is to stripe. That is that is what I am planning on doing. The yarn is from Noodle Soup Yarns. It was a gumball uh, pack that she had at Christmas that I got um, from Ian for Christmas, and I am loving every single colourway in this. It is beautiful um my favorite so far i think has got to be this color here it reminds me of like um fruit tellers and that and maybe like a little bit of like rhubarb and custard <laughs> um but even this red here is really really lovely um it is a little bit wild it is a little bit crazy but once it's on i think it will be quite nice so um it will go round once so and with a bit of room as well so I'm hoping that if I can get round again or at least get all of the colours it will be as long as my other litmus cow so anyway that's that I'm using a 3.5 mil needle which are my knit pro I don't even know what these are they're knit pro needles they're the plastic ones with a um interchangeable cable so that's that um it's going to be quite a quick podcast this week because i haven't really got much else to show um i have printed out the um pattern from tin can knits for the socks um because i want to make child socks and there is a child socks in there um and see how they go and i've got enough yarn here to make child socks for Mikey and Ollie and enough blue and greens and things like that so um if you watched my weekly you would have seen me unboxing a beautiful package that I got from um Siobhan's Crafts so this is the yarn that I got so it was a flamingo box that she it was like a mystery box that I um ordered and it was a flamingo themed um, and this is the beautiful yarn that was inside. I'm just going to hold it like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is yellows, not yellows, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> it's pinks and like peachy colours. Um, a little bit like purpley, I don't know, it's, it's so nice. And then also in the box was this lovely stitch marker that I have attached to the yarn. So when I use the yarn, I can use this stitch marker. Also in the box was this lovely key, key ring charm or bag charm. It's got both on there. So it's got the big lobster cl clasp. And this is a little flamingo. It's like a pom pom. Oh, it's so cute. I'm thinking of putting this on my bag, but I'm just literally having it sat up there for now because it is so cute. Also in the bag was a iron on patch. Um, is it here? Yes. So there was a iron on patch. There was some feathers. And also there was a flamingo reusable tote bag. That is now in my handbag, <laughs> uh, but I did show it on the vlog. So yeah, just super duper cute. Um, and I am gonna keep my eye out for what the next theme is to um, think if I'm gonna purchase that as well, because oh, it's just lovely to get a surprise yarn as well. Like instead of actually seeing yarn, because I see so much yarn that I like that I get a bit overwhelmed with it that if it's just a mystery and a surprise I'm like oh that's really pretty um, so yeah because I do look at so much hand dye John um, like on shops and on Instagram and things like that I think I like so much of it that I get overwhelmed and not know what to buy so <laughs> um, mystery boxes are just a little bit perfect for me at the moment also, uh, someone commented on my, um, it was either my podcast or my vlog from last week, 
but I can't get the comment back up, which is really, really annoying. Um, I can't find it anywhere. And I did say this a couple of weeks ago that my comments were uh, missing all the love hearts, and I do try and heart everyone that everyone that comes through. Um, but this one, I just can't find. Um, it came up in my notifications, and I click it, and it just disappears. So I can't even reply to it. But this person said to me, "Do you know that Wool Warehouse has got their sock yarn for three pound fifty a ball?" I was like, "Oh, let me go and have a look. Oh, let me order. Oh, look at this." <laughs> So I ordered four balls. <laughs> I'm trying to use yarn, um, but I thought sock yarn will always be handy, um, even though I have lots of it. Um, I love knitting socks, and you can knit other things out of it as well. But like I said, I wanted to knit socks for the boys, um, and I picked up two colourways that could be perfect for the boys. So... Um, Maybe just knit socks for myself out of them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so this one is, it's all Stylecraft head over heels. Um, it is 100 gram and 400 meters. It's 75% uh, superwash wool, 25% nylon. And this is called Red Spots. Red, Red Pots, sorry. Uh, and this is this colorway. There's a little picture of how it will knit up. So yeah, I really, and I thought this would be quite nice for the boys, because it's like greens and reds and blues and not too girly, basically. The next one is called pool, like swimming pool, um, and this is like blues and greens and like a peachy colour, um, and that's how that one all knit up. Then I got this one, which is called Splash, which is divine. <laughs> it is so nice. Um, and I'm thinking this would look nice in a hat or in something else other than socks, maybe. And this is how this one will knit up. So they are all like stripy socks, self-striping. This one is called Oasis, and this is more peachy colours and pastel colours um, and that's how that one's going to knit up the thing is on this one I can see this here more greeny but it's more blue I don't know maybe it's just the way the picture's been taken I know blues and greens are really really hard to get pictures of on like photos and that and that's just from experience <laughs> trying to get pictures of my yarn that I've dyed up and have it an accurate ac Acrea, 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 yeah, that word. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they are the four that I got. They were three pound fifty, and I just think they're perfect to add my to my collection up there. Um, but I'm not going to use any of these just yet because I do want to use up the yarn that I've got. Also, um, I know a few people that are having babies at the moment and I've got so much yarn that I want to use up so I've decided to make a few baby blankets I have pulled out some yarn I'm not going to show you just yet I will show you once I start making the projects um, but I am decide I have decided that I want to crochet some uh, baby blankets and some maybe some like um, loveys or whatever you call them like the heads with the little blanket on underneath um, just because I've got so much acrylic yarn that's just sitting there and I want to make some space basically I need to free up some space um, not because I need the space but it's getting a little bit ridiculous on how much yarn I've actually got um, and we only live in a little flat so it's not like we're in a big massive place that I can have lots of yarn <laughs> um, I don't have a spare room that I can put it in and it is it is literally at the moment just shove it in wherever it fits and I don't want it to be like that I don't want it to be everywhere I want to sort of contain it into a, a, a small area basically um, all my sock yarn goes up here and all my hand dyed yarn goes up here that is mine um, my stash not my 
stock. Uh, so yeah, that all goes up here, which is fine. Um, but all of the acrylic sort of goes into the boxes in the bedroom and I, I need to whittle that down a little bit. So I've pulled out some yarn. Um, I know that a couple of people are having girls. Um, I know one of them, I'm not sure what they're having yet. Um, but my friend, she's actually in hospital at the moment and she, um, she's quite early. She's 31 weeks, um, and baby wants to come out now. So they're trying to keep her in and the baby in. <laughs> uh, so I might make just something little, uh, I've got so much on. That's the thing that I want to, I want to give and I enjoy making. So that's the main thing. I enjoy making it and I don't have to have it with me to enjoy the actual final pro product because I enjoy the process of it. So yeah, that is that. Anyway, I haven't really got much else to say. Um, I did get new um, business cards. I don't think I showed you on the last podcast because they didn't come. But here I have um, new design podcast podcast <laughs> uh, business cards <laughs> um, and this is them. I have had them professionally printed this time um, and yeah so that's that and then on the back it's just a lighter print of the background on the back on the front and then I have these ones which are if I can get one out so it's the same on the front but then on the back if you've bought my yarn before you would uh, know that I use stickers I printed my own stickers and basically I've had the information printed on the back so these will be my yarn ones I have um, the other ones for stitch markers and just putting in and like using whenever uh, so yeah they I live in in here at the moment and then up there so they are my new design um, I will be changing sort of the little video that goes on the beginning of my YouTube videos um, at some point I don't know when but that is just literally a picture of the same sort of thing with the bubbles on the background but just different color um, but yeah that is pretty much all I've got to say today um, yeah <laughs> uh, I wasn't very well yesterday I have explained this in the vlog so if you don't if you just want to wait for the vlog at the end of the week then you're welcome to but yeah on Sunday we went to Chesington and I became really ill uh, because I think I got a bit of travel sickness and vertigo um, I just wasn't very well <laughs> um, and one of the rides really knocked me for six um, and then yesterday I was still really ill still really wasn't well um, but today I have got up and I'm fine I've got no headache I don't feel sick and so that's all good and I thought I would film a podcast today um, I do want to try and stick to them to Mondays but I'm just going to film Monday or Tuesday, it's going to be as and when I can sit down and record. So that's pretty much that. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying what you're crafting. I hope you're all well and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye for now.